apps on your Samsung Smart TV not opening, taking a long time to load or crashing all of a sudden is a very common occurrence. But don't be stressed because I'm gonna show you the most effective and easy troubleshoots that will definitely fix your issue by the end of this video. The first thing we'll do is cold boot or soft reset our TV by unplugging the power cable while it's still turned on. Then wait for at least half a minute to clear the cached memory and discharge the internal components. Now reconnect the power cord and your TV should turn on automatically. And then your apps should run normally. Didn't work for you? Then check if your internet is working properly, which we can easily do by going to device care. So we'll open settings, then go to all settings, and then we'll navigate to support. Here you'll see the option called device care. Let's open it. And here you'll find the option called self-diagnosis. We'll go into that. Then select smart hub connection test. This will run all sorts of tests and tell you if your internet is working properly. If it finds any problem like this, then you need to troubleshoot it first. For example, we can see that it couldn't connect to our DNS. So what we can do is change to a different DNS server and that should fix this issue. After you have checked your internet, if you're still having trouble opening some apps or if they're still crashing, the next thing we can do is check the system time. If your TV's clock run out of sync, that can block your network to secure app servers even when you have good network connection. So let's check the dead end time by going to settings again, then all settings, go to general and privacy, system manager, and then time. Go to clock set. In our case, we don't have a dead set yet, but it should have updated automatically. So we'll do it manually now. Then you can go back to home and it will save the settings. If that didn't fix it, we should check for system updates because outdated software can also cause this problem. So we need to open settings once again, all settings, go all the way down to support, then software update. Select update now, then it will check for system updates and download if anything is available. Now, if update wasn't the issue, then we will check if we are running low on storage. So let's open apps, then go to settings. You can see the storage bar on the top right corner. If you're running low on storage, consider freeing up space by deleting some apps and then that should fix this problem. You can also delete the app that's causing the problem and then reinstall it, then it should run smoothly. After reinstalling the app, the issue you are having should be fixed. But if the issue persists, then don't lose hope because now we will reset Smart Hub and it should definitely fix it. To reset Smart Hub, we need to go to settings, then all settings, support, device care, then open up self-diagnosis. Here you'll find the reset Smart Hub option, open it. You'll need to enter your PIN, which is all zeros by default, but keep in mind that this will log you out of your Samsung account and delete all the apps that you installed. After resetting the Smart Hub, you'll need to go through this small setup process, which includes logging into your Samsung account. And after the setup is complete, just install the apps again, and then it should run without any trouble. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll be back with more.